Let me show you how easy it is to install Victron plugin in Home Smart Home app and of course how you can pair the Victron energy system with your home automation. So let's get started. Welcome back. Sorry for my English. I'm not a native English speaker, so I hope you understand something from this video. If you don't understand, like I told you in every movie, write me in the comment area below and I will try to explain you there. First of all, let's get started. I'm Claudio from the CS Tech. We are from Romania and of course we want to show you how you can pair Home is smart automation with Victron because you want to use your excess of the energy. Before do that, be careful because you need some hardware devices. First of all, you need the Home is smart uh, smart home app uh, device and of course you need the Victron Energy that is already equipped with a JX device and the JX device is already connected to the internet because communication between Homey and Victron is made by internet is not made by any Wi-Fi or infrared uh, technology. Okay let's get started and let me show you how you can do this in Homey web app because I want to do this more easy using my PC. First of all, be very careful to know the IP address of your JX device. If you don't know, let me show you how you can get it. Go to the Victron, go in the front of your Victron, go down and go to the network and over here you will see the IP address. If you are connected by Wi-Fi, you go to Wi-Fi and see the IP address. In my case, IP address is 110 at the end. Okay, let me show you the next step because we already find the IP address and let's go to Homey. In the Homey, click the new device, select Victron Energy, Victron JX and hit connect. Over here, you will need to put the IP address. Let's see, 1968.1110. Port leave it uh, 502 and you need to put some value over here. This value will, will come from your Victron Energy devices because many system has many different configuration and Homey don't know what configuration you have. So in this way, it let you to select the configuration that it's set up in your house. In your house. Let's see, com Victron Energy V bus. Where you can find these uh, ports, let me show you. Go into settings and of course you go down to the services. Because it's communicate via internet, we need to enable uh, TCP. If it's not enabled, hit enable. And after that, enter available services and let's search for VBUS. VBUS, VBUS has the ID 227, let's see. 227 and of course you need Victron battery. Battery is depends, maybe you have a uh, shunt, maybe you have a smart shunt, maybe you have a BMS, in my case I have Bolt, but I want to select the value from battery, so from a smart shunt from Victron, so I will select ID 226, let's hit 226 and of course hit the OK button, I think it is, I don't know Holland <laughs> or Dutch, let's hit OK. Victron is already available, hit continue and in a few moments will be available. Just wait 5 seconds because the delay uh, until pull the information is set to 5. Of course you can adjust this delay, set one, set 1, 2, 3, I recommend you to leave it this way. And of course here you have some option, if you want to play with it, you can do it. So in this moment my consumption is 106, I don't know, it's changed, 52. Let's check is the, if it's real. So I have 5 second delay, but my consumption is like that. Battery is 92%, let's check if the battery is ok, 90, 92%. Ok, so in this moment Victron is already set up with Homey. Let's create a flow and test it. New flow or scene. Let's select from here Victron. When the consumption is greater than, now I want to test when the battery become less, no, 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 when solar become greater than 2000 watts, so I have excess of the energy, I want to turn on the AC, so I select from here, then I will select the device that will turn on the AC, in my case it's a Fibaro, Fibaro turn it on, and of course I want to have a notification once the scene was run, so test as right, test, uh, come on, test Fibaro Victron. Oh, come on, Victron. Sorry, my autocorrect is in Romanian. Okay, let's hit the test. And in a few moments, I should receive, a, let me show you my phone. I should receive a WhatsApp, let me focus, come on. Okay, I receive a WhatsApp, 
notification that show me the exact message that I put over here. So this is the way that you connect Victron Energy with Homey and of course this is the way that you can create some rules in your house based on solar production. If you want to see more video and if you want to see more integration, more solar inverters, don't hesitate, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell and of course if you want to see more and more videos, share this with your friends and help us to grow as much as possible. I hope this information is very good for you and of course if you need more, stay with us. See you in the next one. Bye.